Hey guys, OG Albina here, and in week one of the LTM, we unfortunately took a loss to Jacob as always in a close 1-0 game to his scarf, Embor. I really want to bounce back quick, as 0-2 starts are always pretty brutal. However, that will be no easy task as we take on Jay Scarf in his Winnipeg Jet Punches. Jay Scarf is a super solid player, and is coming off a nasty week one win where he beat Tiro 6-0. We are quite literally in the opposite position to start the new season. If you guys do enjoy week two of LTM and are excited for the season, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's easy, free, and really helps me out in reaching my end of the year goal of 5,000. Also, go check out Jay Scarf and all the other LTM coaches in the description below. There'll be a timestamp down there as well if you like to skip the builder and go straight to the battle. And big shouts to Halpert, Bick, Keegan, Porpoise, and Hunky for the mocks this week. With that being said, let's jump into it. Our team, if you did forget, consists of Kuja Hisui, Taurus Paldea Aqua, Tornadus Incarnate, Deanti, Serena, Terra Del Fox, Swine, Slowbro Galler, Spirit Tomb, Electros, and Chansey. While Jay Skirt's team consists of Cerulege, Sandy Shocks, Terra Meloetta, Weezing Galler, Cobalion, Blastrier, Persian Alola, Braviary, Chestnut, and Dreadnought. Jay Scarf has some huge threats. Cerulege is incredibly difficult for us to deal with. Our Ghost Immunity and Chansey, god this thing's terrible, gets smoked by Bitter Blade and especially close combat. So we essentially have zero Ghost Resist going into this matchup, making Poltergeist an instant KO machine. Sandy Shocks is not necessarily threatening in itself, as we have good pivots in Electros and Serena especially, who can spin hazards away and force knockoffs. Where it does become an issue is its ability to 1. Threaten the few Pokemon who can check Cerulege, and 2. Get Volt Switches on Pokemon that Cerulege absolutely blows up, like the aforementioned Serena. Meloetta is super, super annoying. If it wasn't Terra, I wouldn't be as worried. However, with a ground type, it can really break down our checks. I even saw a Terra Dark set in a mock, which could really put a wrench in our game plan. Both Milotic and Weezing are very annoying. Weezing is a great check to our physical offense and punishes them with Rocky Helmet. And Milotic checks our special attackers incredibly well, like Gudra, Delphox, and Tornadus. The combination of the two could be incredibly annoying. And finally, there's Raytheary. I'm incredibly scared of a Scarf set. My Flying Resist don't have great longevity in Gudra and Eel, and they do not appreciate a close combat to the face. With that being said, let's jump into the team. First up, Team Captain and Terra Del Fox. Originally, I approached Del Fox from the perspective of a Nasty Plot variant, but after some mocks, I realized there's no real psychic switching. His immunity is Persian, which gets blown up by a flamethrower or a stray dazzling game coverage move. And his resistance is Meloetta. Meloetta is a good psychic pivot, however, it has no means of recovery, and it should be forced to Terra if I position correctly. Unless he's random Terra Steel or Psychic, which really make no sense here in my opinion, we should be able to break through. On top of that, our Specs Terra Psychic Psy Shock can do upwards of 40 plus percent to offensive variants. Yeah, you heard me right, we're rocking out with a Terra Psychic Choice Spec set this week, with a moveset of Psychic, Flamethrower, Scorching Sands, and Psy Shock. Flamethrower is there for a random Persian nuke, and Scorching Sands is a mid-ground click in case we need to attack into a potential Cerulege or Persian switch in. But realistically, this game will be clicking Psychic or Psyshock. Psyshock does a ton more to Meloetta and most Milotic variants. Psychic has a much higher damage output overall, and does great into a lead slot into potential Sandy Shocks, giving us a huge chance to Oko offensive sets turn 1. This will be our lead if we see no Persian, as getting a Terra Choice Spec Psychic off should put us pretty far on the front foot. Next up we have our Cerulege Answer and Taurus Paldea Water. This week we're rocking a Citrus Berry variant, with Raging Bull, Endeavor, Close Combat, and Aqua Jet. We should be able to take on any Cerulege hit with our Intimidate, and then when Poltergeist eventually pops our Citrus Berry, we will not only get some health back, but also become immune to the move as it needs an item to target. This makes Taurus our makeshift Ghost Immunity this week. We also take Bitter Blades quite well, but we do need to be careful about switching in on Close Combat if he has it. However, I do think that CC is hard to fit. If he's close combat, he can't really be sword stance, which is great information to know. Endeavor is a cool option as well to really weaken my Lodic, Weezing, and Chestnut after we take some hits. Raging Bull and close combat are for dual stabs and general damage output, and Aqua Jet is incredible for picking on weakened threats like a weak armor boosted Cerulege or a Sandy Shocks. EVs wise, we Oko offensive Cerulege with Raging Bull, have speed for Meloetta, and then put the rest in defense to take Cerulege hits as well as possible, as well as having a lower HP number for Endeavor. Third is Big Serena. Serena has a moveset of Power Whip, Knock Off, Low Kick, and Rapid Spin this week. 
Power Up is great for O killing both Sandy Shocks and Spadef Milotics, which is what Serena is here to check. We do so especially well with our Covert Cloak, allowing us to avoid Scald Burns, Ice Beam Freezes, and Discharge Paras. We have Knock to remove items from guys like Chestnut and Weezing, as well as do a ton of damage on greedy Cerulea Switchins, and Low Kick to punish and hit Cobalion and Glastria. This also serves as a nice soft check to something like Dreadnought if it comes, but its main job is to check Shocks and Milo, knock items, and keep hazards away. Fourth is Electros. This week we're once again rocking with an Assault Fist variant, but this time a more standard special attacker. We have a moveset of Discharge, Volt Switch, Flamethrower, and Giga Drain. This Pokemon is not only a great general sponge and soft check to Milo, Shocks, non calm Mind Meloetta, Braviary, and Weezing, but it's also incredible offensively. That's why we have a much more offensive set to jump on said Weezing and even no speed Chestnut. Our speed is also great in the event we do get some much needed paras on Discharge. Volt is great for momentum as I'm okay with shocks coming in because I can just Giga Drain it after, and Flamethrower is pretty much there to nuke Chestnut. Eel is our lead if we see a Persian as nothing on his team really appreciates it and hopefully we can use it to grab early paras and damage. Fifth, we have Big Blake Snell, Hisui and Gudra. This Gudra set saw a lot of different items and moves in Mox, but we set it on Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon, Flamethrower, and Dragon Tail with a Chopper Berry as our item. If you look at Jaskur's team, he really doesn't appreciate offensive dragons. His only real resist is Cobalion, which is a mid spread set and gets rocked by a straight Flamethrower, which we can use our Chopper to lure it in and hit it hard with. Chopper also functions great for CC Cerule Edge, CC Braviary, CC Glastriere, and even Focus Blast Meloetta. Dragon Tail is simply there to phase out any set of guys trying to take advantage of our special attack drops after a Draco, like Cerulege, Mellow, Braviary, Dreadnought, and Cobalion. Lastly, we have Big Globro making its debut. Globro has an interesting job this week. It's mostly here to check some of the lesser physical offense on the other side. It takes on Cobalion super well, Chestnut super well, Blastier to a decent extent, and Braviary if it's not a boosting item. We also wall the heck out of Galarian Weezing and don't really care about a burn and are immune to Toxic. We can also absorb potential T spikes from Weezing. With our boots, we never have to worry about taking two after a spike or anything of the sorts. And our moveset of Nasty Plot, Slack Off, Psychic, and Sludge Bomb is super strong offensively here. With the Nasty Plot up, we can 1v1 threats like Milo and really make it hard for Jay's Curve to pivot in. That is going to be the team for week number two of the LTM. Please let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you would have brought something different, let me know if you're hyped for this week. And uh, yeah, that being said, let's jump right into the battle. <laughs> Alrighty, gang, here we are. We are connected with Mr. J Scurf. I almost said Jack, but I don't know. Well, I guess it's right there. I was like, I don't know if he wants me using the government name. Uh, we have Mellow and a Dreadnought, which is a little fucked, and I'm a little worried about that. Um, I I'll be honest, did not see it once in Mox. Uh, Cerule Edge, which super smokes me. Chestnut, who's very annoying. Uh, big Shocks. Sandy Shocks. And then we got Milotic. What I think I'm going to do, I see no Persian, and I don't see a Terra Psychic, uh, or like a Terra Dark Meloetta, which is something I played in Mog. I'm just leading Delphox, and I'm clicking uh, Choice Spec Psychic. That's the plan. Unless he leads with Melo, I'm in a pretty darn good spot. Um... The reason Psychic over Psyshock first is, yes, Milo can come in, but some Fizz Def variants just get to a KO by Spec Psychic. Um, and uh, Psychic has a really good shot at Okoing um, shot. I guess it depends on what he leads, right? I guess it like, just totally depends on what he leads. Ryan. Cerule Edge. I don't like this lead. <laughs> Not my favorite lead. Um, and I definitely don't guarantee kill like bulkier variants, so unfortunately I do just kind of like half to get out. Um, so we're gonna get into Tauros. I feel like my game audio is super quiet. Let me turn it up a little bit. Uh, like right there. But yeah, we'll get into our, uh, we'll get into Tauros. Hopefully exert a little bit of pressure. What I kind of like is I kind of like Tauros double into, um, what do you call it? Uh, why am I blanking on his name, man? Uh, Eel. I kind of like Tauros double into Eel. Uh, Discharge is very obnoxious into the squad. So we're going to get out. Um, he knows he can, like, Poltergeist for free. Uh, we'll also see if he's, like, banded here. Um, this will be really good information to know. It'll put me in range of my Citrus. Poltergeist. Attack my Citrus Berry, so he sees I'm Citrus. A little annoying. Um, that's not banded, though. I think that's just Adamant. Which he, he definitely can be, right? Um, he can't hit me with that move anymore. I'm making the double. I, I don't need to think about this. 
but I do want to calc the damage while I sit here uh, with my Inchim going. I mean, nah, that might be banded, dog. Yeah, because that's that's with an Inchim, unless I didn't see Clear Amulet, which is a little tough. Um, well, no, he's not Scarf via this. If he switches. Yep. So good deal. Um, and from here, I just, I, I think I just want to discharge. That's a little annoying. I mean, same thing. I think I can just Flamethrower, right? Get off a bunch of damage. I'm creeping no speed chestnut too. Um, I'll two it KO Spadef. I'm very offensive. Like this one's really strong here. Um, so if he's no speed, I will outspeed him. And that's also good information to know. It also doesn't immediately really threaten me. All this could do is like wood hammer, I suppose. Um, no, I want two it KO Max Spadef actually. Is he a leech? And this is gonna do a lot. He's definitely got some speed, so he's definitely not Max Spadef. So this is two it KO. I love a burn. Give me a burn. I'm gonna get a little health back, but that's fine. The only issue is I know that this guy gets fucking, what do you call it? Um, knock now. I learned that in a mock, which was mad annoying. Um, so I actually don't have great pivots into this thing. Um, part of me just wants to make this slow bro pivot. Um, I know knock can come out, but I don't necessarily need my boots. It's not gonna do that much. Um, I really don't think I can let the Delphox take the knock, though. And losing my specs is really bad. Like, that's where I exert a lot of my offensive pressure. Um, I also don't think Slowbro is super important with the team that he brought. Okay. That's fine. What do we think this pivot's gonna be? Ah, uh, wrong button. Is it super worth making this aggressive-ass double? Because I also don't want hazards going up. <sighs> Dude, because if he stays in a Nox, I'm boned. Do I need to make this play? I don't think I really need to. But I also don't want to get vaulted on. Dude, I think I'm going to make the Delphox double. I think there's no reason to sack this, right? Also, if I'm like OTR, right? You just like get nothing out of that. Um... So I'm clicking it. I'm getting into my guy. I'm clicking specs. He's leech spiky. No leftovers, so probably helmet. He's gonna switch. Okay. Coconut. You do see the shocks. Okay, I can turn a fight psychic and get a psychic off. Like super, super freely. Um We see no booster speed, so I don't have to worry about like any like shenanigans. Yeah, and Terra Psychic, like, to an offensive set, just, like, fucking nukes this guy. Um, it also does a lot to offensive mellow. So, like, I'm just gonna Terra Psychic and Psychic. Alright. I'm gonna go from there. I'll go from there. I'm playing really aggressive, but I just don't think I have, like, the team and the position to, like, have to deal with this kind of stuff, you know? Zand. Okay, this guy comes out, which is... Low-key fine, right? I mean, if this is, like, offensive, it's gonna take a shit ton. And if it's her ground, I have a feeling it is. Because ground isn't great into the squad. Um, I mean, yeah, this does a lot to offensive. It still does, like, 30%, so we'll see if it's AV here. I really wish I was side shocked, like two at KO, like very little at the time. But it also like it's it's holy assault vest. Okay, so I got a side shock like the rest of the game. It's a little tough. Um Do I want to make I think I am still going to make this play into Gudra, and then I can maybe make a double out afterwards. Um, into Electros. I, I think a Psychic move is coming out, and I don't want to take a Psychic to the face on Electros. It's still so good offensively, right? Um, but Super Assault Vest, by the way. Like, Super Super Assault Vest. Now, once he Terra Grounds, he's not going to be able to uh, check this well. Uh, Terra Grounds. I mean, I don't, I don't know why I'm switching to ground. I just need to do it time. Yeah, Psychic will to it KO. Oh, no, that's still Specs. Assault Vest. Um... From this range, depending if he's like an offensive variant, it will. 
he looks like he's pretty bulky though. Again, we'll we'll see. We'll see. He's just gonna U-turn. Um That's a matter of what he goes into. It could be shocks. It could be Milo. I think it's probably shocks to get a volt off. And if that's the case, I think I can just Draco. Yeah, Ryan comes out. I don't think Earth Power comes out here. Oh, this guy comes out. I mean, I'm just gonna Draco. I'm I'm Choppel. I still have able to check the, the Mellow. I know he's AV as well, so that's something else to keep in mind. And when I kill this, ah, Flamethrower isn't super free because the fucking Dreadnought's here. I don't like that. <laughs> really don't like that. Um, but I'm just gonna Draco. If he CCs, he gets smoked. Um, I still have Taurus Aqua Jet in the back to revenge this thing once it gets low. So I don't need to, like, Dragon Tail it. But yeah, I'm not super threatened by this thing. CC. Yeah, just please kill this thing. Just need a hit. Control. Eat it up. Minus one. I just gotta hit the Draco. Shit, he lived, man. Um, is it just sack this thing off time? I think it's just time to sack this thing off. I, I don't think I have a switch in, unfortunately. Damn, I thought that would kill. I had Hydro Pump originally. That's super bulky. Oh, he's gonna switch. Okay, I mean, I got a Dragon Tail off on something. Maybe he's just trying to use this as an opportunity to set up. Um, got some good chip here, which is nice. Get a little bit of chip off on that guy. Now he dies to Psy Shock. So now I can click Psy Shock much more freely. Much more freely. I'm gonna Dragon Tail force him to Terra. I'm gonna Dragon Tail force him to Terra or Focus Blast and miss. Oh, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna Dragon Tail. I mean, literally no reason not to. There's no fairy. Like, I'm not punished for this at all. Um, he's not tearing very explicitly to have a Psychic Resist, which makes sense. Right? Like, super, super makes sense. Um. Oh, yeah. We'll see. We will see. Again, he doesn't really appreciate the Dragon Tail, you know? If Milo comes out, I could just Dragon Tail again. Not super worried about it. Um. I just don't want something like Sandy Shocks to come in. I think it's the main thing that's unfortunate if he gets out into. But again, like it seems as like it's it's still minus attack Dragon Tail, but it's gonna chip things, you know. I'm not in a particularly awful spot. I know there's no hazards up. That'd be ideal if we had some kind of hazards on this team. Um, this makes sense. Take like a little bit of chip. Is he helmet? He is helmet. So that's again at least good information, right? Um, and then from here, I think I am just going to keep this sack. Yeah, I'm just going to keep the sack. I'm going to get out into my Serena. I guess Iceman kills me, though. Maybe that was a bad mid ground. Maybe that was bad. Maybe getting into, um, what do you call it was the play? Getting into Delphox. Maybe getting into Delphox is a better play. Okay, Scald. We'll take those. I don't think he's ever going to make a hard Cerule Edge play. I think keeping that thing around for a strong sneak is really nice for him. I think we're going to see a Chestnut here. Um, and I don't think he can ever really risk me being faster or being Scarf or just like nuking him with a Power Whip. So I think we're going to see a Chestnut stack here. He's also faster than me, so that's something else to keep in mind. And he now knows that going forward, which is a little bit tough. Helix, um, but we get into our Delphox and we get to pick one, which is nice. And I have a sack in my Gudra, which is good. I have a sack. Um, so we're gonna get into this. I just didn't want to take the extra chip for no reason, right, and knock him off. Um, and also be put in a spot where I have to switch into Cerulege without getting a KO. Uh, I'm just gonna Psy Shock though. Just gonna Spiky Shield. I mean, there's there's no switch into Psy Shock. There's no switch into Psy Shock. The, what do you call it, is in range now? It is 100% range now. He's gonna save this. 
I mean, this is gonna do a shit ton of mellow. This is helping me out a ton. I'm totally fine with this. This is gonna do a shit ton, right? It's gotta do some chip, right? I do wanna see mellow. Taking a Psy Shock. How much? I mean, yeah. That thing's like damn near two it KO'd. Is it worth to stay in? And go for the roll? I'm just gonna go for it. There's no reason not to. I, there's nothing this thing can do to super threaten me. It can't really. T oh, I guess it could knock me if it's not. Maybe that was the bad play. It's fine. We got the kill. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what we get for being ballsy. We get a we get a nice little uh, very opportune crit. I mean, the only answer is for roulette, right? The only answer here is Cerulege. So. I feel like I'm doing pretty okay. If something like Dreadnought comes out, how much do I do to Dreadnought? I put this thing in range of Aqua Jet. I'm side shocking. Uh, this thing's too big of a threat, I think. Is it? No, it's Strong Jaw. A strong draw. I think I, there's no way you can set up in front of me. There's literally no way you can set up in front of me. I'm sacking off my Gudra. I'm sacking off my Gudra. What? Does your not get psychic things? Does it get a flying move? Dude, I should just attack. I just didn't think he'd. I didn't think he'd smash. He's EQ. Taurus Paldia Aqua into Dreadnought. It gets up to plus two, but it's intimidated. I mean, I don't think there's anything this guy can do to me, right? He gets intimed. I mean, I have to CC. There's no other play. I have to CC. I CC into Jet and I kill this. Even if he's Sash, I will Jet and I will kill him. I don't think there's literally anything he can do to kill me. He's at plus one. I don't think EQ kit crit kills me. Ah, uh, EQ crit will kill me. <laughs> Um, let's see, 201. Yeah, I think EQ crit kills me. Oh, I'm jet. I'm jet. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. This thing doesn't randomly get upper hand, right? Yeah, I'm jet. Not the best spot, but not the worst spot. We're gonna go ahead and just Aqua Jet. Make sure I click the right button. There's nothing crazy this thing gets that I'm just like, he's Sash. Unless this thing gets sturdy. It doesn't get sturdy. I'm like, yo, he's a rock type. I'm, dude, I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking. I was like, yo, is this sturdy cuss app? Am I gonna get smoked? Cause I just didn't see if it was sturdy. Um, but he can't be. We keep our Taurus around too for that Cerule Edge, which is really nice to have a Poltergeist switch in. I have no Poltergeist switch in right now. Um, so that's super, super clutch. We lost our sack, but we honestly switch well into everything at this point. Um, Sideshot kills something every time at this point too. Milo included. He has to go Shocks or Milo. One of the two. We definitely got really fortunate on that crit, by the way. We definitely got really fortunate on that crit. Like, I, I feel like I'm not talking about it because we're, like, mid-game, but that was big. Um, we always just go Serena here. I mean, no, I think I... Dude, I think I just go... I think I go this guy, because he exerts a lot more offensive pressure on a Volt. 
right? It's just a better position on Volt. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna eel. Um, it's a better position on Volt. We wall this thing. Uh, we just click Giga Drain for free. It's gonna Volt, that's fine. My, uh, what do you call it? Crit! <laughs> Yo, who gets crits in Pokemon games? It's fucked. Alright. Ryan comes in, but I'm not... I mean, do we see a CC come out here? Do I drip pivot through this guy? I think I drip pivot through Slowbro. I don't need Slowbro. I'm drip pivoting through Slowbro. I think we're going to see a CC here. CC or Bitterblade, and then I pivot um, immediately out. Maybe that was bad, though, because he gets a lot of health back. Maybe that wasn't a great idea. I didn't think it would do that much. Keep it a stack. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I kind of forgot that he'd get a lot of health back. Maybe he's just not going towards the throw. I'm really scared get about getting put in Aqua Jet range, though, man. Um, he's not choice fan for, like, let's say, like, Adderant into Del Fox. Because I think that's better offensive positioning. Adamant. Adamant crit does kill me. So, I, I mean, I have to go Taurus here. Now this thing's even more important, man. Maybe, the, dude, that was just a bad play. Like, objectively, just a really bad play. Um... What do I think the pivot in here is? Dude, I really want to make the double, but if he calls my double... If he calls my double, I literally lose. Oh, dude, Owen. Fuck, Owen. Dude, I'm, I'm getting... I'm, I'm, I'm playing myself. This is a stupid play. It's just a really stupid play. I mean, this gets to a KO at at least close combat, you badge. At least close combat. I just unfortunately, I think I have to CC here. Take this thing off. Yeah, I think I have to CC here. Pick this thing off. And that's a problem. What can you do? And I get to CC here, pick this thing off. Maybe he's contemplating a double. I don't know. No, it's not. I might just want defense. Does Sneak kill me from here? Can. Dude, me just giving that thing health back made no sense. It was just a bad play. Do I, do I even have a play here? Is it going eel? And sacking eel? To bring in Toro? I think it's going eel, sacking eel. After the whole... Oh my god, I'm in such a bad spot, dude. I'm in such a bad spot. Just because I threw, I decided to give it health back. It's just a bad play. I'm gonna get punished for it, and that's on me. Um, I need to see Adamant Cerule Edge, Bitter Blade. How much is it doing in the eel? Does it always kill here? It literally always kills here. God damn it. So there's literally no way for me to scout Vand. I mean, I think... I can just Volt here to keep a sack in case I randomly live. In case he throws, in case he clicks close combat. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. 
not in a great spot. Not in a great spot. He's gonna CC here. See, that's what I thought he'd do before. CC kills me. Does CC always kill me? I feel like it also does. Pretty much always does. I genuinely think it is in my best interest to go Chapman and just not get crit. I, I think that's the way I don't slowly lose this war of attrition. I'm just gonna Psy Shock. No crit. Kills. Okay. I think I'm fine. I think I'm good. So we kill Ryan. I think we're good. Is there no, was there no sneak? Yeah, I, I think I played that really bad. Like I, I wanna I wanna make it very clear. I think that was a really bad play by me. Like objectively a very bad play. Um, are we going to see a mirror coat? Does it matter though? No, I don't think it does. I don't think mirror coat matters, um, because I should put him in range of Tauros if that's the case. Yeah, it's in range of Tauros. It's fine. So I think we're okay. We go Tauros, we CC, we Jet, we win. not physically defensive. We are fast in our Tauros. There's literally no reason for this thing to ever really threaten us. I think we won, but I think that was a really bad play, and I think we, we can do much better in that regard. I think we win, though. No competitive. Let's go. Um, CC, though. We're just gonna pick this off. Um, so Tauros is gonna pick it up. Um, but yeah, that Again, I, I literally said it like, I'm gonna make you saucy fucking mid-ground. No fucking reason to. Genuinely terrible play. But, um, we, we made it out. So, I guess that's what matters at the end of the day. But, obviously, we want to do well and get better. Um, that probably wasn't the way to do it. There's literally nothing Shocks can do to our Serena as well. So, we can, like, safely knock. I could save Diff, but I'm not about that life. But, yeah. We're gonna go Serena and uh, Shocks. No, oh, he's leftovers. I mean, I think I could just power up. I mean, there's literally nothing this thing can do to us. Because Knock doesn't kill, I have to take two hits anyways. I think I just power up. He doesn't have, like, a random coverage move. Yeah, we're fine. He can't pair us. Cool. So Serena wins. Fuck you, Keegan. Look at round five Serena. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, that was not a clean game. I can't talk shit. I'm not a clean game at all. I'm, I'm just fucking around. Um, but yeah, we win, uh, which is good. We're able to bring it back one-on-one. -on -one. Um, shout out to Weso back April. Uh, we'll play it tighter next time. Uh, obviously some things to look back on and not, not our best game, but we were able to win. And Del Fox did it work. Like, it did really well. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. If you're new here, drop a sub. I'll see you guys next time. Later.